Okay, this is Dragon Attorney, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV A Realm of Born 2.0 storyline. Now, in this episode, before I start anything, I will use that for the XP buff. In this episode, we are continuing the questline of Gridania. So, go for it! Dragon, thank the gods you've come. We have a potential crisis on our hands, and I would appreciate your assistance. Will you hear me out? Spirit hold broken. Okay. I would say that would be nice, but again, the XP helm. <laughs> Alright, so spirit hold broken. Galfred, chief instructor at the Bannock, would entrust you with the task of investigating spirit hold. Listen well, for we haven't much time. To the southeast of here lies a dungeon known as Spirit Hold. It was all but destroyed during the calamity. Desiring to offer the ruins back to the forest, a hero ventured inside to carry out the rite of returning. And alas, so it seems something has gone awry. Where it arrived just moments ago, like the hero and his guards have been attacked by a towering shadow. Aye, you heard me. True, a shadow. On any other day, I would dispatch my best quiver men to provide support, but I sent them to repel an Ixali excursion in the West Shroud near Belago. The timing of these events cannot be m mere coincidence. I fear that Ixal somehow caught wind of our plans and are attempting to disrupt the right and effort to weaken the bond between man and elemental. They must not be allowed to succeed, and so I bid you to, I bid you go to Spirit Hold and do whatever is necessary to resolve the situation. Please, say you will help us. Do I have a choice? I knew you would not let me down. You will have all the support I can muster. Now, we are racing against time, so you best make haste. Early. Right, so... Just know the general chat. Yeah, let's just change that to our event. Where am I going exactly? I'm going to Green Tier You. Someone's apparently already doing the fight there, so that's hmm. Okay. That kinda works, I guess. Right, then so if I could click on the screen. <laughs> Where am I going exactly? Just straight, I guess. Yep. Hi. See, there's the path going there, so I just have to follow that path. Yay. Fate discovered nearby, I know what that fate is. Do I? Spirit hold run. A cadre of spirit hold dwelling imps uh, plan to make a max exodus, make a very history, trap them in the abandoned dungeon and see like they never leave. Literally, I don't have a choice. I have to go through the bloody fate in order to get there. Unless I wait five minutes. Yeah. Who goes there? An adventure, is it? Here at Instructor Galfred's request, you say, thank the matron. Doubtless you already know this, but a towering shadow manifested without warning and attacked the hero in the midst of the right. Most of his party have been successfully activated. Successfully activated? Successfully evacuated! But five remain unaccounted for. Please find them and see them out of harm's way. Okay. And I have to do that during a fake. Damn you, random diamond heads! Seriously, damn you. I would like to get through the area, but no, there's a fate. And for those who don't know what fates are, they're basically random events in the world that you can get bonus XP and gold and items from. So they can be anything like helping transport an NPC. You could kill a certain amount of enemies, which is this one apparently. You have to kill, like, a boss enemy, which happens a lot in the higher level ones. And, yeah, it's just this. Yeah, 
Well, I think it stops like around here, so that doesn't actually do bad. Yeah. I could actually maybe complete the fate. Nope, I want to get the story done. Wait, what read? What will I? Uh, a great shadow towering over me. One twelve's good grace. An adventurer, please, you must save the hero. Okay. And this one is too. Galfred sent you. I am no longer of use here. Pray help the hero in my stead. I was gonna say, are you dead? No, you're just walking away. Okie dokie. Over wall? It's a wood whaler. Alright, is he down? Hello, third person. Away, a vile fiend. Away, I say. I defy you. I defy you! Uh, oh. Adventure. We, we were ambushed. Ambushed in the mid of the midst of the ritual. And then, and then, I'm not sure what happened. Well, aren't you useful? Right, so I guess I have to kill you too. Let's him down. Cool headed conjurer. You were sent help? I fear you are too late. The ritual has failed. I must needs return to Gordania. The seed seers must know of this. Okay. And if I can get you without being attacked, that thing was no elemental, but a being born of darkness. The hero languishes alone in the depths. You must help him. Okay. Rescue a hero. Hi. So, you're the hero then. Chitty calls. Pro commence battle for spirit hold broken. If your level is above level 13, it will be synced. Hold on. I'm on level 10, so I guess I won't be synced. How does it expect you to be level 13 here? O oh, mournful voice of creation, grant ye this humble stone a soul, that it may wake to life. How lovely, we're fighting a giant rock elemental. Hi. This is gonna be interesting. Hi. Wait, do you say something? No, it doesn't look it. Defeat the clay golem. I guess it wasn't rock, it was clay, even though technically... Would I say they're the same? You are strong, but you, are you strong enough to withstand this? Yes. Yes, I am. So yeah, I should say, if you're going through the... Uh, what's it called? If you're going through the old Daw storyline, or if you're going through the Limsa Lominsa storyline... And you will probably have a similar fight like this where you have to fight like a giant enemy by yourself. So, yeah. Impossible! Never has the golem been so sorely tested! Really? 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 Bye, Clay Golem! Got me a level up. <laughs> nice. That the golem could be vanquished. That woman is no ordinary adventurer. Right, so did I get anything for being level 11?
You two are late. Damnation! He has eluded us yet again! Oh, fancy meeting you here. How are things? Quite well, I just killed the giant clay golem. And now I'm having a migraine. I'm just going to call those Echo Visions migraines. Sounds nice. Hmm? Where are you? Shh, more birds. It's like how many times a day? Seven? The movements are beyond our fathoming. Hmm. Do you think maybe they're trying to summon the primal? I hope not for all our sakes. Yet we must be prepared for the worst. Rivered, the same fate has befallen Emerald Moss. It is as we feared. Dalamud's anomaly is affecting life in the Charles Wood. You mean the disturbance in the etheric flow? The very same. The Guardians have a lot to answer for. The imbalance they have created by... The, but the imbalance they have created is plunging the land into chaos, just as Louis Swarth forewarned. It's no wonder the Primals have started appearing. Time is against us, but there is still hope for the land. We must hold fast that hope and... We must, bleh, we must hold fast to that hope and fight to the very last. Agreed. She's a cutie. I got mad. Wah! Ack! Stupid things. These stupid things happen to be the very latest in Charlian innovation. Show some respect. But they're so uncomfortable and... and... ugly. If you ask me, their improvement over that mask heals. Oh, owned. <sighs> Hard to believe it's been five whole years, isn't it? Already? Five years is but a heartbeat in the life of the planet. I suppose you're right. Now that I think about it, the Twelves would barely, the Twelve Woods barely recovered all, and the Gridanians still have the same old problems. Aye, along with some new ones. Just in case the Exile and Garuda weren't troublesome enough, the Zilds had to go and invite Ramu, didn't they? Do you ever think about those adventurers who fought alongside us? I do. And then five years seems like ages. I wonder what became of them. Uh... Eater, look. Hmm? Golly! And this is what exactly? You had enough disturbance in the ether, and freshly manifested that. It seems to be emanating from Life Men's Stump. We must hurry! And I guess that's the story of how they helped us in Life Men's Stump. Minus the Moogle. Are you alright? Your eyes glazed over for a while there. The good news is that the hero isn't harmed. Somewhat dazed, yes, but whole of mind and body. The bad news concerns everything else. Lest you forget, the Trollswood is the domain of the elements. It is by the leave that man abides in the forest and avails himself of its bounty. The ground which the dungeon occupies is no different. Having no more use for the dungeon, the Gridania said to hear it to offer the place back to the elementals by way of the right of returning, which is essentially an expression of gratitude. Alas, he failed to complete the ritual for obvious reasons. While the poor soul cannot be blamed for this, the fact remains that unless the elementals are given their due, they may well consider it a slight. And the very last thing the Gridanians can afford to do in these uncertain times is risk alienating the Trials Woods' eternal guardians. But you have more than done your part. We will see the hero to safety and send his peers to finish the right. 
In the meantime, please make your way outside and report to Alistan. Ah, but where are my manners? I am Popolimo, and this tactless woman beside me here is... Ida! Popolimo and I are surveying the Twelve Woods together. Please meet you. Ida, give me a hand, would you? Wait, there was something familiar about you. Could it be like you are? Never mind, doubtless my ears are playing tricks. Till we meet again. Huh. So yeah, I guess if you had played 1.0, technically your character would be the character from 1.0. Or the character from five years ago. So, yeah, it's kind of a nice little touch they have there. I actually kind of wish I had played during 1.0. Mind you, the game would have been shite, but... Yeah, it would be nice. Let's see, Alistan. All this happened inside Spirit Hall. Trill preserve us. Who was that masked mage, and by what dark ambition is he driven? So... Really? Ugh. I can't get a bloody quest handed in, can I? Nope. Right, you. All this happened inside Spirit Hall, 12 preservers. Who was that masked mage and by what dark and by what dark ambition is he driven so many things shrouded in mystery? Well, I shan't find any answers on my own. I must needs discuss this with Gar Galfred. The matter warrants a full investigation, if I am any judge. If I am any judge. And that sh shall, shall certainly be my recommendation. Your courage has saved many lives this day, adventurer. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Pray return to Gridania and seek out Moon. I understand she wishes to thank you for your efforts on our behalf. Alright, so that's return back to Gridania. Lovely. So I think we're pretty much done in this area, unless there's another part that I'm forgetting about. I mean, you don't leave Gridania until level 5, so either there's stuff in the North Shroud, or we'll be back in that area very shortly, I guess. Let's see, uh, it should just be down here, right? Tiny rat! Oh, that reminds me, I haven't had... I didn't have the minion out last episode, did I? Minion of Light! Which minion do I have this episode? I have... The Warrior. Okay. I'll take it. It's so Mother Moon! Oh, Moon, eh? I still don't know how to pronounce your name, even though we've heard it several times in people's videos. Welcome back, Dragon! A little bird tells me that the hero and his party owe you their lives. Yes, they do. A tale for the tavern, if ever there were one. It is only a shame I must ask you not to tell it. For the time being, at least, do I make myself clear? Until the heroes have made their will on the matter known, it would be best to avoid unsettling people with stories of walking statues. Oh. Uh, now then, you must have suitable re you must have suitable recompense for your valiant service. For the first offer of your reward, I give you leave to make use of the accommodations here at the guild. Arrangements have been made, all you need to do is speak with Antoinette. How do I know how to say that name? However, oh, whenever you crave the comfort of a firm bed and a soft pillow. In rooms, now available. That is fantastic. For the second half of your reward, I offer you another path to fame and fortune. Guild levies! Oh, lovely. Guild levies are records of the various requests we receive from the citizenry. They outline all manner of tasks which ambitious young adventurers like you can elect to undertake. Gontrant is our guild levy, guild lev, official or levimet. Here at the Coraline Canopy, I have spoken with him regarding your knack for solving challenging problems, and he is eager to make your acquaintance. Guild Levs now available. 
By the way, have you ha have you perchance heard about the coming festival? It is truly a splendid occasion, looked forward to by young and old alike, and one I heartily recommend like you take the time to enjoy. Don't be too disappointed. If the recent troubles cast a shadow over proceedings, however, I fear nothing short of the mysterious interlopers. Apprehension can prevent that. But we were talking about you, Dragon. You have made Mother proud. I've made Mother proud! I expect great things of you, young lady. Okie dokie. And I have to pick a, an option now. I'll get the money. Quest complete! You now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. The recommendation list can be opened from under the, under duty in the main menu, and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure of what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable for your present class and level. And Dabby Dozy. Welcome to Carl Academy, a place of respect for things like yourself, as you can imagine. You have the quest, I would like to activate you. Eesh. So yeah, I guess guild levies are basically repeatable... ...repeatable quests, I guess, which will help you level your characters. You get experience, you get guild, you get random items, that would be an upgrade. I'll do that off screen. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Battlecraft, tradecraft. So you can level your crafting. Crafting classes, you can level your battle classes. It's fantastic. Anyway, can we get back to the story? Thank you. On to Brent Branch. Impressed by your progress, Moon wishes to send you on to Brent Branch Meadows. Or Bent Branch Meadows. Where you will find further opportunities to learn. How is my favorite fresh faced adventurer? Oh, do not scowl, so I speak out of habit. You've come a long way since you first walked through my door, and I'll not deny it. As a matter of fact, I think it's about time you made yourself useful at Bre Bent Branch. I always say that wrong. Meadows in the Central Shroud. Oh, never mind, I'm, I'm going back to Central Shroud, never mind. Never mind, and never mind. <laughs> Unlike the recruits you see at the bannock, the men and women out in Brent Bent Branch are fully occupied with their own work. As such, I imagine there are more than a few who would welcome the, assist the assistance of a rapidly maturing adventurer like yourself. Bent Branch is also home to a very usefully, very usefully situated etherite. It is, in other words, the perfect place for you to begin the next stage of your journey as an adventurer. And what better time than the present? Leave the city via the blue badger gate and continue to the southwest until you come to a bridge. Cross it, and when you spy an Ifrite in the distance, you may congratulate yourself on having successfully found Bent Branch Meadows. If you do, if you so fancy, you may also make use of the Chocobo Porter service. Doubtless, the safest way to get your de get to your destination. Choco Keep. Singur sh should not hesitate to lend his birds to a capable adventurer like you. Oh, and be sure to introduce yourself to Kaifa, the head Chocobo Wrangler, when you arrive. Right, so I believe I actually went to this area off screen, so I can actually go to it right now. Or if I could probably save like a little bit of gale, I could use a Chocobo. Hi, Chocobo lady. Oh man, whoever you are. Alright, so chocobos, yes, chocobos. Hire chocobo to Ben Branch. Five gil, that is much cheaper. <laughs> so, yeah, it saves me walking a bit and saves me some gil. Oh, and this thing is here. I'll just put that there, why not? Listen to that chocobo music. <laughs> oh, it's nice. So yeah, it's basically leading us from New Gridania across the bridge to Brent Branch. Brent Branch even. I cannot say it for the life of me. 
And I probably never will. So yeah, we've got quests to do around this area now. So we've gone from there to there. And now are we nearly there? Dun, 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 dun. Seriously, you could drop me off here. Well, I could actually dismount here. But there we go. We go from one choco keep to another. It's like your flight service in World of Warcraft. Except with chocobos. Key five. I see this thing already. We yeah, immediately have a good scene. Okay. You must be an adventurer, Moon, Moon s sent word about. I'm Kaifa, head wrangler around these parts. I've heard many and more things about you, good things, lest you worry. When the Elder say, say, say uh, bade us welcome adventurers, tis fair to say we had our doubts, till hard-working folk like yourself set about proving us wrong. That is, consider me a convert. Any road, you've a mind to help? out at the ranch, have you? Good. We could always do it for hand too to keep the place running smoothly. As a matter of fact, I have a task right here that need that wants to do it. Let me know when you're ready to get busy. Oh, and you come highly recommended, so don't go letting no one down, eh? Ain't that fantastic. Right, so I'm in trousers. Can I stop wearing a skirt now? That'd be nice, it's been like three episodes. Kicks to trousers. There we go. I finally have some pants, it's fantastic. And you get me... Hang on. Level leggings, leather jack boots. Level eight. Yeah, but the exact same. Unless, no, they do have some more stats, so that would be good. Anyway, feeding time, Kaifa, or oh, Kaifa, the head wrangler at Bent Branch Meadows, has some work for you on the ranch. Oh, really? Thing as you're new around here, let's start you off with an easy job that'll help you get your bearings. It just so happens it's feeding time for the chocobos. Grab yourself a few bunches of broad leaf geishal greens from the pile beside the field here, and stick them in the feeding troughs. Ben Branch is a big place, mine, so don't you go missing any. Off you trot then. I like. Alright, so uh, I have to go to the guys for greens. And, oh yeah, that's the uh, lebs, aren't they? Yep. Guys for greens. And the feeding troughs are right there. Hello, Chocobo, would you like to be fed? Uh, broadleaf geyser greens. Uh, picked fresh from the gardens at Bent Branch Meadows. Okay, here you go. Om nom nom on that. There, there. And for you, here is a giant ass cabbage. And where's the final one? Um, is it down at the uh, Chocopo Porter person? Well, yes, yes, it is. Okay. And boom. Now, just while I'm here, let's take care of this leather mat. I believe this requires me to do a live somewhere. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, you want me to do too close to hole, home, which is... I'm guessing... Uh, something about a nose. Right. Glad to hear it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, so I have to complete that leave in order to do that. And again, these will be done off screen. Because this is just a story. 
let's see, uh, you. That gate went right through me. Hi, Kaifer. Thank you for doling out the greens, dragon. I trust you got a rough idea how this place is laid out while you were at it good. Here at Bent Branch, we nurture our chocobos from the egg to young adulthood, so you might say we have them for the duration of their formative years. There's a backbreaking work keeping the birds free of illness and injury, and I'm sure me fellow workers will appreciate any help you can give them. Okie dokie. So I will take these boots. Boom. Ye shall not trespass. Kai for the head wrangler bench branch. Meadows appears to be appears most short. See if there's anything you can do. Okay. Seven hells. Some bastard Quin Quin? I have no idea how you say that. Has gone and broken one of me chocobo eggs. Oh damn. The filthy little thief was busy looting a barn when a guard startled it, prompting and prompting the damn thing to drop the egg. It was clutching and run. Some of the lads gave chase, bless them. But when three more of the vermin appeared, me lot had no choice but to turn back. So it has to be done about this quicken. Would you mind heading over to the matron's left and having a word with a soldier named Rosaline for me? The rat men nest in her neck of the woods. See, she'll know what to do. You broke a chocobo egg. You heartless monsters. You will die. Seriously, why would you destroy a chocobo egg? Why? They're such cute creatures. Then again, a fry... <laughs> a fry chocobo egg does sound nice. Oh. Uh, I'm going to one of the seven hells described in this woolly game. Right, Rosaline. You're here on Kefir's behalf. Hmm, I see. Book one of eggs, you say, and there were four of the creatures. Cookerin are a nuisance at the best of times, but we must now add trespass and chocobo murder. Oh, to their list of transgressions. They have forced our hand. Our retribution must be must needs be swift and decisive. And who better than you to deliver it, adventurer? Find a lair to the west of here, and make an example of exactly four Kirkin scramblers. We can send no clearer message. Oh, I see. I could actually do the too close to home thing here. Yeah. Uh, pack of nose, use on the ground, local chocobos are worried. Uh, seeking volunteers to find the cold creatures. Okay. I get it. Alright, so anyway, scramblers, I'm supposed to deal justice. Oh, I see. So, no mercy? No mercy. There we go. That's one down. Soon will be two down. Mean of light, flee! You did not care. Well then. I should have like a different pet out every episode. Yeah, good luck when I get to episode where I've already shown the pet. <laughs> yeah. Unless I try to get more pets. There could be like whole episodes dedicated to me getting pets. That's probably something I shouldn't do. It'd be funny, but I shouldn't do it. Uh oh, uh oh. Way of that. Okay, I didn't take the damage. Alright, so if I could just take out you, that would be fantastic. Let's see if I'm found like really. Really? I'll take the advice of my parents if it's if they wanted me, they would have rang me. She might as well probably check my mobile fan real quickly. There's no messages from them. Okie dokie! So that phone ringing can just keep ringing. Whatever on my mind. Oh, it's a fate, okay. Thing to fate. Yeah, I'll just let that live you be. 
Right, so I need to talk to you. Hi. The lead is done? Good. A grim task, but a necessary one. You have shown them the folly of inciting the wrath of those who consort with adventurers. Perhaps now the cookin will think twice before giving in to the last larcenous proclivities. Okay. Better gloves. And we'll take the better gloves. Boom. Uh. No, I want to try it on. And then that gives me pants again. That's a side quest, so I'll do it later. Alright, so Osher Job. Don't look down. Osher Job, a wood whaler at the matron's left, is looking for a sure foot adventurer to pick blue trumpets from the root of the nearby Heaven's Pillar. Oh, there, adventurer, you seem light on your feet. I'll take a quick skip along the route of the Heaven's Pillar here. Okay. I need someone to pick off a blue trumpet or two. That doesn't sound right. That name does not sound right. I know what you're thinking. It's not more than a mushroom. So why the commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow the fungal menace to multiply, and within a moon I'll be covering the whole damn route and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there, though. The diamites on the ground won't waste any time adding insults to falling injuries. Lovely. Once you're done, head up to the top end of the route and report to Theodore. Ah, oh, baby be I'm off. I want one. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of one of his more dreaded chores. So this is just a bloody chore. Uh-huh, but a necessary one. Don't look down. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, so there's number two. You're gonna try and attack me. Yeah. Well, fine then. Looks like someone's already doing the... the fate up there, so I guess I must contribute. I mean, I can't exactly pick these up until that. Oh, this might suck if I fall. There we go. Right, there's number two. If I can get number three, that would be fantastic. There we go, and number four is... Oh, great. Hi. Might as well kill you. I think the guy who was doing that's now gone. <laughs> oh, typical. Right, so, got the fourth one, and now I just need to get out of here. Alright, so away from you guys. Bye bye. And talk to Theodore. And uh, I'm under attack. You assholes. How many times does that happen in this video? About twice, I think. <laughs> right, so Theodore. As I was saying. Oh, you've cleared the route of blue trumpets. Wonderful, to be quite honest. I have this teeny tiny problem with heights. And yet, look where you are. Look at it. <sighs> no, this is not my ideal posting, but we all... But we all do what we must. Giving the route passable is an important job, you see. It's one of the few ways folks can traverse the central shroud, since the calamity all but split the Aryan train. It is not, perhaps, the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself causes tendril of a heaven's pillar to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. Okay. Level 12! Oh, and I get heavy first. That is nice. I believe that gives me attack up. Yeah, increases damage to dealt for 12 seconds. That is quite nice. Right, so, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah, attributes. 
add one more strength because why not? And the next quest from you, let's see. You gave me a better belt. Or if I didn't buy that belt, you would give me my first belt. In the grim, grim darkness of the forest, Theodore is looking for an adventurer to, to deliver a message. It is regrettably my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Bent Branch Meadows. Bent Branch Meadows, even. The ranch has become a veritable institution of Gridania, so any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the wood whalers. Which reminds me, may have it was my imagination, but I believe I caught a glimpse of some shadowy fellow not too long ago. Would you mind passing the word to Rosalind down below? I would go myself, but, well... It's hard enough marshalling the courage to walk the route for my shift. I see. I see, I see, I see. Oh, don't... I was gonna say, don't fall all the way down, my god. Alright, so down to Rosaline. And place your bets, am I gonna be attacked by these buzzards while talking to her? A shadowy fellow? Now I mention it, I have seen... I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still, I suspect it nothing more than a crooked thief on the run. If you must state your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something of note, I would like very much to see it. Oh, lovely. So, back up the tree we... No, wait, do I? Yeah, save me a trip. No, I don't. Lovely. Let's see, it should be... Oh, great, it's Dianite. One leather bag. Oh, that's, uh... I thought that was something, that was actually just, like, a campfire. Right, I got it! And all that is a quest. <laughs> Maybe these aren't going to go as slow as I thought. Then again, I haven't gone to the big chunk of the story yet. Hmm? Have you found something? Leather bag, a tattered leather satchel you found lying near a gutted campfire. Remnants and uh, of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer or traveller, and inside we have a chocobo grooming brush and ro rosling oil. Rosling oil? But wait, why would a traveller make camp here when it would be far safer to beg the hospi hospitality of Bent Branch Meadows? Bugger me, the faintest belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chocobos. Oh, bugger me, I think this belongs to that stranger. Said to be meddling with the chocobos. Thank you, adventurer. We have been lax in our duties, but no longer. I swear we will find the shadow. And there it is. Alright, so I guess I'll have that now. Boom. Let's see. Fret level elevated. You get me better boots already. Okay. Right, so fret level elevated. Rosaline would like you... Or Rosaline. I still don't know how to say the name. Would like you to warn the other centuries of the strangers' activities. We cannot allow other centuries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I prepared this letter, this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to show it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each century has committed the details to memory, have them write their name at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmar at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Brent Bent Branch Meadows. They are to relay the information to the others. Finally, make sure Elgar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables, so if the stranger's aim is on the chocobos, Elgar may have to personally burn into it. Where am I going exactly? I have to go to you, I have to go to... somewhere else. I guess first off is go to you. That guy had a griffin. 
know what I'm curious. Can I actually use my mounts? Um, not guide. It's just after the armor. Oh, no, for Rise of Summon Mount. Alright, so I can't do that till I'm level 20. I think. That's the level least in World of Warcraft. Alright, so, Elmar? You don't look like you're here for training. No, I'm not. Information regarding a suspicious individual compiled by Rosaline of the Wood Whalers. Rosaline's missive. Shadowy figure? Understood. I'll passwords to recruits as well as the sentries. Let me just make my mark. There, that should do. If you follow the road south, you'll find Bernard by the bridge south of the Bent Brent. Bent Branch. Godspeed adventurer, Mike. Should I just call that the name of the episode? <laughs> Bent Branch. I feel like I should, just for comedic value. Yeah, yeah. That looks like a path. There we go. You should just be on the bridge to the left. Is that you there? Yes, no. No, it's that this. Okie dokie. Bernard! You have business with me, adventurer? Yes, Rosaline's missive. Rosaline is right to be cautious, for this stranger to venture so close, yet go to such great lengths to remain undetected. It's highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bent Branch. We appreciate the help. I should write my name here, yes? And here, take it, you'll find Elgar in the stables. Pass the, pass the fright. Okie dokie. And then that's him done. And then I do actually need to check something before I go any further with this quest line. Let's see, Elgar, 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 where's Elgar? Yeah, Elgar, there you are. Oi. Mind the birds adventurer to get nervous around strangers. Hosleen's missive. What's this, a shadowy stranger near the matron's lever? You've already shown us to Bernard and Elmer, I see. Good, good. And then, all that's left is to inform the staff here. Not everyone here is a wood whaler, true, but even our stable boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend these chocobos. Good on them. And... There we go. Okay, so... Migrant Marauders. I'm gonna take a quick check on... Why I am in the story. Uh, Migrant Marauders. Okay, there I am. Alright, Edgar would like to impose upon the kindness of an adventurer. I reckon I can do this. Wait. You're quite the compassionate adventurer, but it sounds a bit we well far be it from me to look a gift chocobo in the mouth. I have need of a capable woman like yourself. We received a pedal at the gates the other day, an excitable lava fell. I was sweating and swearing that he had been attacked by large winged beasts. Yet, other than hornets, I know of no flying creatures in this region. If there's any truth to what he said, it might prove problematic for other travellers. Follow the road south and see if you can find any evidence to support his claim. And should you find something, kindly tell Lafayre to patrol his area. Sometimes, sometime instead of just standing between the spire and staring at the god's damned road. In those words. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait there's another one. Okay, there. Uh, this might actually be the last ones I do if these don't get me a level up. Because I'm actually coming up to that uh, level thing and. Oh. That gives me more stats, apparently. Kaifer, the head wrangler at Bent Branch. Wow, now the... Now the leaf was completed. Okay. Or the fate, I should say. Well, technically failed, but... 
Kafer, the head wrangler at Bend Branch Meadows, wishes you to gather roselet seeds for which, from which she hopes to extract an oil known to calm agitated chocobos. Seeing as you're here, I've got a favour to ask. Give me six seeds from those plant-like monsters they call roselets. The oil from the roselet seeds has a calm effect on skittish chocobos, see? Any wrangler worth of salt usually has a jar or two lying around. I thought the stock I had would last me a good while, but lately the birds have been as restless as a summer swarm. Chocobos are sensitive creatures at the best of times, and it ain't unusual for him to act a shade agitated all of a sudden. But this is something else. You'll find them those lits I mentioned up near Galvan Spire. Go on now, time's a wasting. Let me go. Not there. Ruffled, ruffled feathers. And... Oh. Gammon's back. Alright, so it should just be past... That dragonoid guy has been following me. Oh, this is curious. Uh, let's see, you should just be... not here, Volteric? Oh, right. Search for signs of the winged beasts. You're the being of wings. Aye. Alright, so there's one down. So was this just the thing I was looking for? It might be. Yep, there we go. And seeing as the next story level is 13... I mean, I might get to level 13 with the story quests, but... Yeah, just to make sure I don't have any problems for next episode, I should probably go through a few more side quests. Just to make sure I have a few level I'm a few levels ahead of the quest, just so I can keep the story progressing. Yeah. Alright, so attack you. And there we go. Where are you down for you to go? Actually I should put on this in. There's a... Yeah, my grunt orders. As long as those time mice don't attack me, I can hand it into you. Oi! A northern vulture, too? And they were defending a nest? Well, I, uh, perhaps we could omit the last detail from any official reports. I would rather not give Elgar further cause to be cross. Thank you for slaying the beast. You may rest assured that I will not permit this to happen again. Okay. Yeah, I might as well just have those, just in case. Level 13, I'm level 12, but I can't accept that. I'll accept that next episode. Alright, so back to zeroes, let's... Alright, so I'll take you out. Realize I don't have a food buff up anymore, do I? No. No. Alright, so if I can attack you more, the you should be the fifth one. Yep. And then you, good sir, will be the last one, I hope. I really hope. Come on, buddy. You're nearly dead. Um. Right, run! Yeah, literally run, please, because I am coming up on the time limit here. I still want to keep these episodes under an hour, so... Yeah, the next ones will probably be started next episode. Right, Kaifa!
Did you get... Did you have any trouble getting them seeds? Nah, not really. Well, it seeds. These hard black seeds can remain dormant for years before sprouting. Let's see here. One, two, three. Yep, that's the full six. Nice big ones, too. We'll squeeze some good oil out of these. I still don't have a clue what's being and selling the birds, but whatever it is, hopefully the roselet oil will help calm them down a bit. Episode 2, and I guess I've got... that thing to wear. Yeah. When I go do side quests, I should probably try and find something else. <laughs> Would be nice. Oh, and there's level 15. Fantastic. Alright, so I am curious. Are there, are there any other... Uh, story quests? No, it is just uh, skeletons in my deep croft. Okie dokie then, so I guess I will do those next episode then. So with that, I will end this episode and this recording session here. This has been Dragon of Eternity going through more Final Fantasy XIV, a Realm Reborn 2.0 storyline. In this episode, this recording session, I had gotten through a bit more of the Gridania storyline, I defeated a giant clay golem, and I'm getting further and further into Central Shroud. Next episode, I guess I'll be starting Skeletons in my Deep Craft, and hopefully sorting out the whole Chocobo issue with them. And in between episodes, I will be doing all the side quests I can, getting a few level ups, hopefully. And hopefully some gear that isn't that thing that I saw. So, yeah. And that view is, until next time.